Across America, from the mountain states to the Midwest, from the East and South, in sleepy towns and bustling cities, the work of Adventist Health System is defined by a unifying thread that winds through more than 150 years of a health and healing legacy. In the mid-1800s, health and long lives were rare. Good health care was practically non-existent, and doctors often prescribed odd elixirs and treatments, some of which were as harmful as the diseases they promised to cure. People were afraid of night air, and bloodletting was still a common practice. But several founders of the newly organized Seventh-day Adventist Christian Church had a better idea. They believed God had already provided the best remedies in nature, and they turned their attention to prevention, suggesting that fresh air, sunshine, rest, exercise, nutritious food, and clean water could help people stay healthier. They also proposed that a simple diet rich in nutritious foods would help build stamina and strength. Health reformers, led by James and Ellen White and other early Seventh-day Adventists, looked at the life of Jesus Christ and wanted to follow in His ways, caring for those who were hurting, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. With this mission in mind, these pioneers launched the Western Health Reform Institute in Battle Creek, Michigan on September 5, 1866. They had limited staff, an eight-room house, and just one patient. They also had more faith than medical know-how, but they were determined to follow the Creator's footsteps. Pooling their resources, the church members managed to put several students through medical school. One was 23-year-old John Harvey Kellogg, who became medical director of the Institute in 1876 and changed its name to the Battle Creek Sanitarium. Dr. Kellogg was an avid reader who traveled the world to increase his medical knowledge and improve the work of the sanitarium. He was also a prolific inventor, developing procedures, surgical techniques, and medical equipment, much of which influenced the medical care we know today. In an effort to provide an easy and nourishing option to the typical unhealthy breakfast of that time, Kellogg ground corn and formed it into ready-to-eat flakes. His brother, who worked with him, later started the cereal company that still carries the family name today. Dr. Kellogg's expertise and innovations were widely known, and in the late 1800s through the early 1900s, the Battle Creek Sanitarium drew patients from around the world. Some of the most famous of these were John D. Rockefeller of Standard Oil, department store founder J.C. Penney, inventor Thomas Edison, African-American educator and author Booker T. Washington, and aviator Amelia Earhart. William Howard Taft, the 27th President of the United States, was the 100,000th patient of Dr. Kellogg and the Battle Creek Sanitarium. On a cold winter night in 1902, as Kellogg was out of town, the Battle Creek Sanitarium caught fire and burned to the ground. Undeterred by the disheartening news, Kellogg immediately boarded a train for Battle Creek. By the time he arrived, he had already sketched out plans for building a new and even grander sanitarium. This began an era of rapid development of like-minded institutions all over the country. Boulder Sanitarium in 1893, Hinsdale Sanitarium in 1905, and in that same year in Southern California, an abandoned hotel was purchased and Loma Linda Sanitarium was opened for care and medical education. Today, Loma Linda University Health ranks as one of the top-rated medical schools in the country. In 1908, Florida Sanitarium in Orlando was founded in faith by a small group of church members, including one person who mortgaged his own home for the down payment. Today, Adventist Health System employees, diverse in culture and backgrounds, find opportunities to provide highly advanced levels of care in a Christ-centered environment that encourages the health and healing of the whole person. Adventist Health System hospitals, outpatient centers, and nursing homes extend the healing ministry of Christ as far north as Wisconsin, as far west as Colorado, and as far south as Texas and Florida. Adventist Health System, reaching out, touching hearts, healing lives.